how to find the real truth. The moment you try to find it, you try to possess it. If you hold it, it runs away. If you keep it open, it stays, goes the same. First of all, there is no truth. If there is a truth, there is a lie. If there is a male, there is a female. First of all, there is no male, there is no female. There is no girls, there is no boys. There is no husband, there is no wife. There is no father, there is no mother. Please try to understand this one. These are all created dictionary languages. Once you think she is a wife, she is a, he is a husband, broken, finish. You try to now practice, talk, move exactly according to the bookish language, not according to your truth. Otherwise, where there is father who is a male, mother who is a female, it doesn't come. Father and mother is only one language called the truth. In that truth, it's only one seed. And the seed is inside the seed. What do you find? Ramakrishna Paramahamsa asked, if I tell you in this inside this seed there is a big tree, did you do you believe? You ask me where there is God, where there is truth. Can you show me the truth in a, in 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 my hand, God? If I tell you there is a God inside this seed, you must put it in a proper soil, fertile soil, water it up, or if it is a forest, it grows of its own. Fence it up if it is a beggar's city, then you need fencing to make it grow. Such is the beauty of the truth. Then the girl and the boy is not there. It is just uh, your feeling and the feeling is accepted by both the people. Indian, the young, Boston increase the electricity. The sun never says uh, you are the male, you are, I am the female. It just go, comes, it penetrates and people accept it up. It just spreads it up. If you want it, you take it, you sweat it up or you can go hide like a beggar in a mansion, in an apartment. Zen in a beggar's life. 43rd story from the Zen Flesh, Zen Bones written by Paul Reps. Tosu, he was a well-known Zen teacher of his time. He had lived in several temples and taught in various provinces. The last temple he visited accumulated so many adherents that those he told them he was going to quit the lecture business entirely. He advised them to disperse and to go wherever they decide. After that, no one could find any trace of him. That was the truth because Tosri, the Zen master, was teaching. And so after some time, he thought after teaching, these people will not become like leeches sticking on to you. They will just go and spread the message. One step leads to 10,000 steps. One word, wisdom, word is sufficient for you to take. One seed is sufficient. Like Father John from the Kenguri Ashirvanam Ashram told me, please don't buy all my cows. He had 60 cows. I went to buy all the 60. That was the last cows he had. He had 3,000 cows. All is gone. Now, no, not a single church father wants to take care of the cows uh, because they all wanted to wear the beautiful gown and uh, give uh, mass uh, lectures, but they do not want to do work. So, Father jo John started selling the cows. Last 60 was there. I went to buy that. He said, no, that is not me. He thought I was a businessman. When he looked at me, I said, I have school and children and all those things. He said, then I will tell you one thing. Buy only one cow. From there the baby will come and then the other baby come, the next baby. They become like a family, a joint family and a family tree. These cows, you don't have to feed them sometimes also. They'll just give enough of milk. That time the cow what I purchased from father was 25 liters. He said, till the 8th month, ninth month, till the baby comes, 25 liters, 25 liters, whether you give them food or not. But they should be from one place. If you change the cow from one place to another place, you will not get it because that is a stress. So like that, the Tosu was finding it out that one student I teach 
that student should spread it out. But what happens in this beggar's home? Bangalore city is a beggar's home. Bombay is a beggar's home. Delhi, Chennai, beggars are staying. Don't tell they are educated. There are no schools, beggars' homes. Schools and colleges have become beggars' homes. And the political leaders are very happy. They have the police to force it. You to become a beggar, force you to go to a beggar's home. And then the beggars like only one thing, burger, burger, beggar. Every time they see they want burger from KFC and McDonald's, beggars. Beggars like beggars. Burger, burger, burger. I don't know how to pronounce it. That is actually burger is real beggar only. So he dispersed those who dispersed the teacher has to disperse. Shishi Ravi Shankar should disperse. Madha Amrutamai should disperse. Um, Shish, um, Ramde Maharaj should disperse the people after some time. They cannot keep you, keep them there. It's a waste. It is creating a bad economy in the country. They should go back and if they learn something good, they must go and spread it up and make it more powerful. If they are not only living Sri Sri Ravisha, Madhava Mardama, Ramde Maharaj, that means uh, Sri Sri Ravisha, Ramde Maharaj and uh, all those people's teachings are bad. Hence they are sticking on. If it is very good, one step leads to 10,000 steps. That should be the way. The schools and colleges have taught them, but these ch children uh, were taught in a beggar's home. So they go and beg for a job. Otherwise, you, can you believe? So much of wealth in this land, they could have created beauty. They do not have to take money from the world by one lakh, one and a half lakh crore, something like that. One and a half lakh billion dollars or something, I don't know, is the money which we have borrowed. And we are thinking we are the greatest people in the world. Yes, from time immemorial, they told the disciples, go to the Himalayas and you can find God. You can meditate there. And all the monkeys, all the Naga Samajis, all the Brahmacharya ran, leaving the wife and children without marrying, gone, gone to Himalaya. Which Himalaya? They said, the Himalaya, go to the Himalayas. Interpretation went to go to the Himalaya, go to the center of these beggars places, the KR market, all these beggars places, all these market places in the beggars colony called the city, Bangalore city, beggars colony. Go there. That is the Himalaya. Go there and meditate means go there and put your thoughts, put your ideas right across purely. Karma you will keep doing work without expecting any results. You roar like a thousand man warrior and you can see only cleanliness next to God. Everything is clean and you bring the best thing that you have taught the people which you have not done it. Instead you thought the Himalaya was Himalayas. No, 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 no. Interpretation went wrong. I have been telling for long. So the former disciple dressed. He advised them to disperse and to go wherever they decide. After that no one could find any trace of him. Three years later, one of his disciples discovered him living with some beggars under a bridge in Kyoto. He at once implored those who to teach him. If you can do as I do for even a couple of days, I might, those who replied. The master Tosi left it and the disciples also dispersed. And one disciple tracked on and found Tosi um, dressed up like a beggar and saying with the beggars and begging. Beggars begging. Please try to understand. There was no beggars, first of all. There was no begging also. What? They mentioned in the Zen book was beggars means they have gone to Bangalore city. Beggars staying. IT company people are all beggars for, for the employees. Beggars. You have created a huge amount of beggars. So master was among the beggars. Living, dressed up like a beggar. Suit, coat, tie. Dressed up like a beggar so that you can bring in more diseases. Suit, coat, tie, sitting in air-conditioned room is Beggars only sit in air conditioning room and Corona has proved it. Not me. You can take me to the court. I don't care. But I'm telling you the truth. Beggars. So he found him and he said, please join us. And try to do as I, as I do. Because the student came and he said, Master, please teach me. He said, if you want to teach me, join with me. Practically join with me. You have to go to the beggar's place. You have to go to the city and change them. They have been mass hypnotized and they are breaking the economy of the country. So much big cities have come up, Bangalore city, New Delhi, 
Mumbai, Chennai, Calcutta and still people are suffering means beggars. They created a beggar colony. So the former disabled dressed as a beggar and spent a day with the Tosui. The following day, one of the beggars died. One of the people in the city keep dying. In a, in a day, 50, 100 or 200, nobody cares. That is beggar's colony. Tosu and his people carried the body off at midnight and buried it on a mountainside. After that, they returned to their shelter under the bridge. Mountainside means cemetery. Came back. <coughs> Tosu, after that, they returned to a shelter under the bridge. Tosu slept soundly the remainder of the night, but the disabled could not sleep. Nobody can sleep in the city. If you, if you see the villages, it's impossible. Of course, now villages also have been destroyed by the rulers. They made fights among each other, telling people not to grow anything. They kept on uh, spoon feeding them, broke the family into three, four pieces. Forget about it. Tosu slept soundly the remainder of the night, but the disabled could not sleep. When morning came, Tosu said, we do not have to beg food today. Our dead friend has left some over there. Yes. Some over there, but the disabled are unable to eat a single bite of it. I have said you could not do as I concluded to swim. After they buried the dead body, which happens in Bangalore city almost every day, hundreds and hundreds of people die, cremated remains filled up. They're, they're creating more and more cremated. Nobody bothers, nobody has got time to cry, nobody has got time to do anything, nobody has the time to think about the person the death is happening, and still people are attracted to the to the fire like the flies attracted to the fly beggars so he came back and he said oh today the beggar has left the dead man has left some food let us eat that one his disciple was not even able to touch a piece the dead man left the food means other food is food why the dead man means the city man has left food in the refrigerator refrigerator food no dog will touch it you give it only city dogs beggar dogs which you have brought it up but nobody in the world will ever touch you cannot touch mouth can you otherwise i am an example after after fasting for 15 days after fasting for 41 days no food the mouth body will touch only pure fruits and vegetable organ nothing else goes inside the body body is rejecting it up that means you are pumping in beggar's food poisonous food his disciple who came from the temple which organic food and pure thing is that he couldn't even take a bit of it so those is a get out of here and do not bother me again get out from here you know this is a dangerous place now you go deeper and deeper and practice think about it meditate means think about it and spread the message of what you have seen me that gives you an idea of one step is to 10,000 this is a beggars the city is a beggars colony all of these beggars how to change you be the change for the change you ask for finding the real truth this is the real truth practically putting things into practice hence I refuse to meditate separately. In the midst of my slum people, in the midst of my village people, in the midst of my kids, the fight continues to change, to scrub and clean, to make them healthy, making them to look into them, to find the truth. Like Ramana Maharshi said, ask who am I? Jesus Christ said, knock on the door should be open. Krishna said, roar like a thousand men. Open.